All right, chapter three for Save the Earth, called Litter Bugs. Robbie came home with me after school. We decided to pick up litter in the neighborhood together. How was your day, boys? Asked my mom when we walked in the door. Good, we both said. How about a snack? I'd love a snack, said Robbie. Thanks, Mrs. Threshner. Come on over and wash your hands in the in the sink. I don't want I want to make sure they are clean before you touch any food. We both washed our hands and my mom started to reach for the paper towels. Wait, mom, no, I yelled. Freddie, what is the matter? asked my mom. We need to dry our hands on a dish towel, not a paper towel. But you always dry your hands on a paper towel. I know, but today Mrs. Wishy was teaching us about things kids can do to help the planet. A dish towel doesn't use paper, which saves trees. That is good thinking, said my mom, handing us a dish towel. I went to my backpack and pulled out the Earth Day Challenge paper. See, Mom, we have to do all these things by Friday. If we do, we get to be a member of the green team. These are great ideas, said my mom. I really want to be a member of the green team, but I don't know if I can do them all by Friday, I said. I bet you can, said Mom. You already got get to check number nine off the list. Oh yeah, right, I said, smiling. We gobbled down some cheese and crackers, drank some juice, and headed for the door. Where are you boys rushing off to, asked my mom. We're going to pick up trash in the neighborhood, said Robbie. I think it's number five on the list, I said. Well, then you better each take a bag to put the trash in, said my mom. She handed us each a plastic bag from the grocery store. I have to remind my mom to use the cloth grocery bags, I thought. Before I could tell her, Robbie grabbed my arm. Come on, Freddy, let's go. We're wasting time. We ran out, the, out of the door and started walking down the block. How many pieces of trash do we have to pick up, I asked. I think we each have to pick up ten, said Robbie. Ten? That seems like a lot. I don't think our neighborhood is that dirty. As I was walking, Robbie reached down, picked something up, and dropped it into his bag. What was that? A gum wrapper, said Robbie. At least it wasn't the gum. I don't see that anywhere. That's because it's stuck to the bottom of my shoe, I said. Yuck, said Robbie. That's gross. Tell me about it, I said, trying to scrape the gum off with a stick. We kept walking, and I found a candy bar wrapper, an empty soda can, and a piece of paper. Robbie found an old battery, a paper clip, and another soda can. Let's go to the park and see what other trash we can find, he said. Good idea, I said. Race you there. <laughs> well, look who it is. <laughs> we took off like rabbits with our bags of trash flying out behind us. I beat Robbie by a hair. Beat ya, I said. Just barely, said Robbie. I still beat you, I said, smiling. We walked around the playground and at the park. Robbie found a sandwich bag, a straw, and a plastic fork. It looks like somebody finished their lunch and just dumped the trash on the ground. And look, I said, the trash can is so close. It's right over there. We both shook our heads. People are such litter bugs, said Robbie. I walked over to the basketball courts and found a juice box, a water bottle, and a granola bar wrapper. I found three more pieces of trash right here, I said. You know, when it rains, all this trash, trash gets washed into the storm drain, said Robbie. Then it gets carried out to the ocean where it pollutes the water and makes the sea animals sick. That's terrible, I said. And think about all the animals here in the park, said Robbie. A little squirrel might think of a piece of trash with something to eat. But then when he put it in his mouth, he might start choking on it. How sad. Poor little squirrel. We picked up more trash in the park and then started walking back home. Wait, we didn't check to see if we had ten pieces of trash yet. I said, oh, I think we have way more than ten, said Robbie. I never realized how many litter bugs we had in our neighborhood, I said. Me neither, said Robbie. We walked past Mrs. Golden's house. Her dog, Baxter, leaped off the front porch to greet us. Hey, Baxter. Hey, buddy. How are you? Said petting his head. I said petting his head. Baxter wagged his tail and stuck his nose in my bag. No, buddy, that's not for you, I said, pulling the bag away. What's in the bag, asked Mrs. Golden. Trash, we both said. Why do you boys have bags of trash? We are trying to clean up the neighborhood and protect the planet, Robbie said. We are doing an Earth Day challenge for our school. I said we want to be members of the green team. Good for you, boys, said Mrs. Golden. It's important to take care of this beautiful planet that we live on. 
Baxter ran to the neighbor's lawn, picked up a piece of paper in his mouth, trotted back over to where we were standing, and dropped the paper at my feet. I think Baxter also wants to be a member of the green team, said Mrs. Golden. We all laughed. Good boy, Baxter, I said, rubbing his back. Thanks for the paper. I picked it up and put it in my bag. Well, we better get going, Mrs. Golden, Robbie said. Keep up the good work, boys, she said. When we arrived at my house, it was time for Robbie to go back home. Well, now we can check number five off of our list, he said. That's two down, eight more to go, I said with a big sigh. See you tomorrow, Freddy, for our walk to school. Yep, see you tomorrow. So that was chapter three, picking up trash. One thing, especially right now, um, it's very important if you do pick up trash that you wear gloves or if you have like can get one of those little stick things to pick up the paper because we don't want to spread any germs. Um, I, I know this might not be able to happen right now, but if you can pick up trash to check that off your list, that would be great.